Hello Startup Vision, uh, I'm Jean-Gabriel Levon, and I'm the Chief Impact uh, Officer of Insect as well as its co-founder. Hello Jean-Gabriel, so nice to have you on today on Startup Vision. So as you mentioned, you are the co-founder and Chief Impact Officer of Insect, the new mm -hmm. phenomenon in the startup ecosystem concerning a new type of French gastronomy. And the, the figure I'm about to, to share is daunting. The estimated increase of global protein consumption between 2007 and 2030 is 52%. And of course, with the climate change issues and given also that we are finally uh, wanting to protect animals' life, the only solution lies in your products or another alternative uh, like uh, plant-based uh, alternative uh, proteins. Is that the story of insect? That's how you created insect? Um, yes, uh, more or less, but uh, the, 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 idea, um, the idea for us uh, has always been to, to, to create a company uh, that makes sense. Uh, that is, uh, I mean, uh, as the B Corp said, uh, the best for the world. Um, and our job is to feed the world. So, so what we try to, uh, to achieve is to develop a technology uh, that is both uh, profitable, um, environmentally positive, and um, also along the way, uh, bring uh, all the social innovation that we can. So that's the kind of vision that we have uh, for the company. Uh, uh, we, we see a company uh, as, a, as a force for good. Yeah, that's very interesting, in fact, because uh, since the beginning, the founders at Inspect described themselves as environmental activists and proposed a, a circular model. How do you proceed to do that? And what is your impact? How do you function? How do you organize uh, Insect? Um, it's, um, it's a joyeux bordel, as we say in French. <laughs> uh, <laughs> basically, basically, we as a... We, we see ourselves as uh, industrials, uh, so we create uh, farms, big farms, big, uh, big automated uh, farms, so vertical farm. Uh, we breed uh, our insect within it, uh, so it's uh, mealworms. We, we have two species of mealworms, uh, a small one and a bigger one. Um, and what we, what, what, what we want to achieve is to uh, develop our concept of vertical farm um, in as many uh, places around the world uh, as possible um, and do all that within the planet boundaries. Uh, so it means uh, being able to, to bring value through a business model uh, and also to, to, to bring a kind of uh, uh, yeah, planet, planet engineering uh, through uh, studies, LCA, understanding uh, what is our impact and uh, where it lies. Uh, it uh, into global gas emission, but also land, land usage, uh, understand where in the value chain uh, our impact is. It can be within our plants, but it can be also uh, before our plants or after our plants. And uh, uh, if we want to, to, to play the game and win the game uh, for the planet, uh, we need to understand all the value chain uh, implication in terms of, uh, of impact. So it's a multiplayer game. Uh, and takes time. It's not something that you, you know you think uh, in one day. And uh, we are still at the very beginning uh, of the story. Uh, so it's been already 10 years, but uh, we have a big uh, 50 to 60 years ahead of us to, to, to develop the company. Mm. That's great. And how did you come up with that idea? I mean, you know, uh, um, feeding the world with uh, insects. I mean, you, you come from, the co-founders come from uh, very different backgrounds, your engineers. I mean, nothing to do really with, uh, with the agriculture or uh, insects uh, to begin with. So how did you come up with that, all of you? Um, I think that uh, every one of us uh, at Insect has a different story. Uh, my, my, my personal one uh, is that uh, I wanted to create a company uh, since uh, ever. <laughs> Uh, and I also wanted to have a, um, um, like a topic uh, very fundamental and uh, at global scale. And food uh, qualified for that. Uh, my, my, first, uh, my first career was in, uh, was in energy. Uh, so it's also something uh, global uh, and uh, very basic at the same time. 
And um, yeah, this, this is how I, how I get into it and uh, what I like uh, within my, uh, my co-founder and also um, all the insectors today, uh, it's uh, this willingness to, to, uh, to, to be a company, so to use the, the economic uh, forces and, uh, and, uh, and ways uh, to, to do stuff in the world, uh, but at the same time being very conscious about uh, um, uh, how we do it and, uh, and uh, the, human, the human component in it, like uh, the, the, the overall uh, sense of our action, it's something uh, that, uh, that is really important to us and, uh, and I like that. Yeah, definitely. Wow. I saw that, you know, company values, a sense of purpose, the why has always been very important since the beginning of the company. And uh, as you mentioned, you know, it's evolving all the time according to what's going on in the world. And so, so what, what is uh, Insects Mission uh, today? To feed the world. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's very concise, but I, I think it's that. Um, the, the exact sentence, uh, you can find it on the, on, on the website, I, I don't know it by art. <laughs> But the idea is always that it's to feed the world in a sustainable way and uh, with a high quality product. Um, we, we, we are farmers, but we also uh, want to promote uh, good health, uh, good, um, good, good value to a product in terms of quality, in terms of performance. Um, and uh, more and more when we talk to clients, the, the, the environmental aspect uh, of our company, it's something secondary. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a good surprise at the end that we, we provide, a, a first and foremost, products that are uh, of quality, that are performant, and that are good for us, uh, for, for, for all the people. Uh, so this kind of, um, of uh, way to, 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 to build a company is something, uh, something pretty interesting, I think. Uh, like uh, what, what, I, what I observe is that the, the, the environment is, is like a condition for business more and more. It's not, it's not something that uh, you, you, you add uh, to, to your offering. It's something that if you don't add it, you don't have business at all. So that's, that's really a change in, uh, in today's business that I, uh, I, I'm very happy about. Mm. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. And, and that's a very important point you're, you're making. You know, environment is not a, a purpose anymore. It's a precondition, it's normal. Exactly. And that's great because uh, we've been coming a long way to achieve that. that that's a great uh, remark that you made. Um, An insect qualifies for a lot of superlatives, uh, $425 million raised. Uh, you're part of the next 40. You have a proprietary technology protected by 300 patents. Uh, you export products around the world. Um, insects uh, activity, we, we mentioned it is carbon negative. So what is next for insect? Um, I mean, we, all, we, we had only three plants. Uh, so uh, the idea is to, uh, to get uh, as fast as possible to uh, something between 50 and 100 plants uh, throughout the world. So uh, the, the next phase for us is really the, the deployment. Uh, we, we are building uh, the first big commercial scale uh, uh, plant in Amiens, uh, actually, we are actually building it, so it should, uh, should be operational uh, next year, uh, the sooner the better. Uh, and we are already planning to expand uh, within a different location. So we opened uh, an office in uh, Miami, uh, in the US uh, last year. Uh, and uh, I think we will soon also open something uh, maybe in, uh, in Asia. Uh, the, the idea being to be uh, as close as possible uh, to uh, all the, the big cereals uh, uh, production area uh, throughout the world. And the three biggest ones are uh, Europe, uh, North America, and uh, Southeast Asia. Yeah, and as you mentioned, farming is a long term activity, you know, uh, we're yeah. just <laughs> working on <laughs> It's one of the basic, basic needs uh, of humans. So, so yeah. Yeah. I don't see a cross future where, where people stop to eat. And 
a personal question to end this interview. What is the story behind Robert Downey Jr. advocating insects on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert? I mean, this is huge. Do you know how many companies would dream of a yes. superhero advocating their product and their brand? So how did you do exactly, that? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> not, not only a superhero, but uh, the chief scientist uh, of the Avengers. So it's not, not something yeah. small. <laughs> You're right. Um, How did you do that? How did this happen? It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, uh, actually, uh, thanks to the work of the uh, of the marketing team that uh, that, that went uh, there and uh, that uh, that uh, yeah, just meet uh, with a uh, with a uh, Robert Junior representative of, of its phone. So uh, uh, Robert uh, made a terrific job uh, creating uh, actually uh, a, a VC phone. Uh, called uh, Footprint, Footprint uh, Coalition. Uh, and it's basically his VC fund that invested in, in tech in a very uh, traditional way uh, on this. But obviously, uh, he also leverages a wonderful image uh, around that uh, to promote the company that is found in the city. Uh, and uh, yeah, obviously, the, the publicity uh, he made to us is uh, incredible. Uh, I mean, uh, we... we, we we basically, uh, we basically went from, from nobody knows us to uh, everybody knows us in the US uh, overnight. So, so that was a uh, that, that was crazy, and uh, and and I uh, really uh, uh, like. Uh, I mean, Iron <laughs> Man is basically one of my favorites, uh, but uh, I, I really like what he is doing, and, uh, and I think he's really a voice uh, there in America. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, I mean, having a superhero as a VC in your firm and advocating your products, I mean, you're on the right path and I wish you the best. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> a, a, a little story about that. Uh, I, I was talking with, uh, with, with one of the, the technical operators in the, in the firm uh, last month and uh, he told me that uh, his little boy was very uh, happy that, uh, that uh, Papa was working for Iron Man Farm. And <laughs> so it's very funny. So it's it's not only good for for for, for the business, but also internally for for everybody. You know, it's kind of a, of a, yeah um, a recognition. That's that's a great story. Thank you so much for participating in this interview. It was great to have you, you on, so and uh, wish you the best. And uh, we'll be talking in the future. Bye bye, Jean Gabriel. Yeah, bye startup. <laughs> Thank you.